What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new scary story video. First of all, did I scare you guys? Did I give you chills? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, hopefully, because today guys, we're gonna be reading a story from a series called Shriek. This is another series of stories on webtoons and it's by a bunch of various artists. We're gonna be reading the first episode from this series and it's called a ghostly job theme park of terror. Without further ado, guys, grab your bottle of popcorn, make sure the lights are off and you are alone. Hold on a sec. Really? Are you putting the covers on? Take the blanket off right now, you pansy. Let's begin. <sighs> <sighs> All right, the setting is someone's house and it looks like somebody is either screaming or breathing. Please, I beg you, oh, Mingyong, please come to your senses. If you were a person, would it hurt you so much to get tapped with a peach tree branch? Ah, ah. Stop harassing her and come out! I cast you out! <sighs> Dude, I honestly, this is starting to like give me some weird ASMR vibes. Ah, ah. She's got a real nasty one on her. When did this start? Well, it started when she got a part-time job at a theme park. The old man holds the demonic girl's head. <laughs> she suddenly collapsed at work, and it's been three days since I brought her home. She's been acting more and more strangely. It's like she's not even my daughter. This is already not your daughter. What? Where is it? Where's what? The place where she worked. Where is it? That is where she left her soul. A ghostly job. Theme Park of Terror. All right, interesting start so far. Looks like a classic example of some kind of exorcism. We got an old guy that's trying to cast a demon out of a girl who is clearly possessed by some kind of demonic entity. And of course, we got the worried sick family member. I cast you out! But this story is supposed to take place in an amusement park, right? Or at least set around one. So I'm curious to see what they did with that kind of theme. Three days later, Bim Young Wan an abandoned mental hospital famous for rumors of ghost sightings. This place was renovated and reopened as the first horror theme park in Korea. Well, dude, they definitely picked the right place because this? Holy heck, that's creepy. This looks like an abandoned facility that you would find on one of the islands of Jurassic Park. Like, I'm looking out for the dinosaurs, dude. It has a total length of 400 meters. Looks like we got a couple of people exploring it. I guess that's after it was turned into a theme park. 44 rooms. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to get through. Okay, all right, so it's kind of like, like an escape room kind of thing, right? Eight ghost actors, 30 shocking traps. Teams of two walk through at five minute intervals. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You got two people, you, maybe your girlfriend, maybe your boyfriend, maybe your best friend, friend zoned. Three weeks after opening its doors, more and more people started gathering in the hope of having a chilling experience. My name is Kyung Soo Kim. I'm 23 years old. I'm a jobless bum who just finished my military service. We've got two people coming over. Roger that. To keep my parents happy and make a bit of money over the summer, I'm staying here and working part time as a ghost. Experienced workers wanted 70,000 won per day. A very good offer. Okay, is this dude wearing a mask or is that his face or makeup? Okay, I think it's a mask. You can tell by little eye holes. That's creepy AF. But dude, 70,000 won per day? Okay, that's like a good 65 plus dollars. Your flashlight will automatically turn off in 25 minutes. So please escape before then. Oh snap, dude, your, your flashlight has a timer? What the heck? Well, forget that, dude. My flashlight goes out. I'm taking out my phone flashlight. What's good, ghost? Yeah, you can't mess with this. Uh, what's up? Sorry. Huh? <sighs> ah, ah, you scared me. Looks like a couple just found a dead body hanging on the wall, or it might be alive. We don't know. Uh, 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 hun, I'm scared. Hey, we're still at the beginning. This is nothing. What are you so afraid of? You got me by your side. Now, hold on to my hand. <laughs> are you okay now? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where are you going? You can't leave me. What are you doing? Well, that guy, he's definitely a man's man. Yep. Oh, holding my hand. Dude. Uh, huh? This, this is just a doll. Huh. Well, thank goodness for that. But, uh, yo, you might want to watch out, my girl, okay? Because dolls are still hella creepy. Sk, sk, sk. Uh, p please, don't kill me. Uh. Are you okay? That really scared you, huh? Are you going to turn back and leave? Mm-hmm. Hmm, she's 
cute. If girls are left alone, I also ask them if they want to give up and lead them to the exit. You can leave here. What a nice guy, dude. What a nice guy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, I, I know this is strange to ask when we just met, but may I ask for your number? <laughs> Hey, you jerk! How could you run off by yourself? What's wrong with you, huh? You left me in there by yourself. What's wrong with you? I hate you. Sorry, sorry. I have a weakness for zombies. What can I say? I'm just a stupid, pathetic guy. I don't know why you're with me. I don't even know how I got you. Ugh. I guess it was strange of me to ask. This is a place where dozens of couples break up or get stronger every day. Creak. <laughs> why on earth are they so scared? I don't get this. Yeah, dude, because uh, an abandoned old amusement park with devilish ghouls and dead people running around isn't creepy. I like this guy. Plop. I envy those couples. <sighs> Babe, is that a person? Where? My main job <laughs> is to break up you couples. <laughs> is to act as crazy as possible in order to scare you people. <laughs> Lunch time from 12.30 to 1.30. Now, listen up. Tonight at 6, Channel X is coming here with a shaman to film a show. So just stay quiet in the back when the camera team goes by. Got it? Huh? You mean they're not reporting on us? I thought I would get to be on TV. Huh. You guys have all heard that there are a lot of ghosts here since it used to be a haunted mental hospital, right? But not a single one of us has seen a ghost so far. That's true. But it's strange that Mingyung and Jongsu who used to work here suddenly got sick and quit. Wait, Mingyung and Jongsu? Oh, they were a couple, dude. And they used to work at the mental hospital before it turned into a theme park. Okay, gotcha. And recently, it feels like I keep hearing a strange sound. <laughs> Boss, that just becomes a part of your daily life if you stay here for long enough. Wait, you're not trying to promote this place, are ya? It would be great if we were on TV. It was definitely strange that two brave, healthy people suddenly got sick and quit just two weeks after the theme park opened. Okay, wait, now I'm confused. Okay, so Mingyung and Jungsu, they were a couple and they didn't work at the mental hospital. They worked at the theme park after it turned into a scary theme park, but they quit very early after it opened. Okay, gotcha. Enough nonsense. I'll lead the camera team and explain the course to them. So just make sure that all the puppets are working properly. Okay. 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 Ding, 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 ding. 6, 10 p.m. Hmm. What is it? This place is really filled with vengeful spirits. Vengeful spirits. Spirits of people who have died unfair deaths. <laughs> oh, wow. Wh what the? This isn't a person. Sir, you... Your arm. This is just a ghost puppet. There are a total of eight people on our ghost team. The other 30 realistic looking puppets are activated by sensors and placed in certain rooms. Sometimes we control them remotely, but when we're busy, they run automatically, like this. Do you see the sensors in the eyes? Yeah, dude, I see them. That's really creepy. I don't really want to look in his eyes. This puppet would surprise a lot of people inside the central control room. Huh? Why isn't this thing working? Tap tap. It's really been acting up lately. Damn it. Why now of all times? So it looks like something's going wrong in the control room while people are still actively going through the theme park. Uh, guys, the ghost puppet in room 44 suddenly isn't working. Who's the closest person? Shh, Kyungsu. Kyungsu, go and put some grease on the neck area of the puppet in room 44. Grease. Lubricant for machine. And reset the on and off switch on its back. Sure, I'll head over there right now. Another one of my main duties is to sometimes perform maintenance on the ghost puppets. These are not just puppets. Do you sense something, sir? Hmm. Didn't you hold any sort of ritual before reopening this place? Uh, no, sir. They, they say that that kind of thing is just superstition. Cut out any strange parts for me. Sure, sure. Has the puppet been possessed by a ghost? Spirits that have became poltergeists back when this was a mental hospital have taken hold of this puppet. Poltergeist, a ghost bound to the earth who cannot move on to the afterlife. Hmm. I have to find that girl's spirits, but they're all mixed together. This won't be easy. They're coming and going like it's a playground. Then what should we do? It would be best to burn the puppets. <laughs> You're joking, right? These cost a fortune. Then take these and put one on the back of each puppet. I just have to stick an amulet to them? So I guess the old man gives him some kind of amulet or anti-spirit thing? I hope it works. No. This is just a temporary measure. Make sure you don't leave anyone alone with the puppet until I bring them some new amulets. Meanwhile, in room 44. Sk! Jungsu makes his way in. Why is it so cold in here when the air conditioning isn't even running? Uh, dude, I can tell you why. You got a ghost in the room. Step. 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 He approaches the ghost puppet doll. Now, 
Where's the grease? They probably keep it back here. Ah, don't, don't, turn around. Is this it? Ah, found it. Hmm? Huh? Did I imagine hearing something? Jeez! Ah, this thing gives me goosebumps every time I see it. This one is the scariest. Why do they have to make it so her head could spin all the way around? Oh, that's the her back, dude, and her head spun all the way around and it's looking at him. Okay, you have to- I, I would quit this job. Pay me a lot more than 70,000 won a day, that's for sure. First, I should cover those eye sensors. Hmm. He puts the flashlight in his mouth and begins to get to work. With some hair, just this much. Sk. It shouldn't suddenly turn on now, right? You freaking better not. Now, I'll spread some grease. Sk, sk, sk. Then, once I reset the on off switch on the back. Oh my gosh, dude, please, nothing happened. I'm done. Alright, so he's just gotta find the switch and reset it. That's all. Huh? Dude, it's. There's nothing there. There is nothing there. That's a not a good. Uh, why isn't there a switch? Uh. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, dude, that is horrifying, dude. I like the animation, though. Kyung Soo falls backward and he drops the flashlight. I would too. Back in the control room, the screen flickers. They lose the surveillance. Hey, the, the camera in room 44 is acting up. Kyung Soo, can you hear me? Kyung Soo! Kyung! Hey! Sue! Kyung Soo! Help! Please! He huffs and huffs. All we hear is his deep breaths. The ghost sits- Oh, jeez! Holy- Okay, the ghost got him. Oh, dude, I'm like scared to keep going. Uh, okay. Alright, what the- oh! No! No! You guys good? You guys good? You wanna keep going? I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. All we see is Kyung Soo's flashlight flickering on the ground. We see no sign of Kyung Soo himself. Hey, Kyung Soo! Hey, wake up! He's completely unconscious. Get him out of here before the TV crew gets here. What on earth did he see that would make him pass out? Sk, sk. They carry him away, back in room 44. Now, this is the last room. This room feels clean for some reason. Why isn't that moving? Ah, one second. The power was off. It does that sometimes. It's okay, sir. This should be plenty. Wait, is that the reset button on the doll? But dude, it was not there before, now it's there. Dude, someone's playing tricks on us. Let's head outside now and film the last cut. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Thank you for today. I hope you'll edit the footage and help promote this place. But, sir, what effects do the amulets have? Man, you should have put that amulet on sooner, man. Poor Kyung Soo, my dude. They trap vengeful spirits inside the puppets. Wait, what? That's what the amulets do? I thought it already had a spirit in there. After the show went on the air, the horror theme park attracted even more visitors. I'm not exactly sure what happened in Bim Young Wan Mental Hospital, but the people who died there... Their spirits have failed to move on to the next world, and are moving inside the puppets. That's so freaky. You said that you can hear ghosts. What did you hear there? Screams. I want to leave. Just constant screaming. I want to leave. I want to leave. I want to leave. Back in room 44. I want to leave. I want to leave. As for me, I'm still working there, part time as a ghost. And that's the end. What the- Oh! Is that Kyung Soo? Oh my gosh, dude, his- his spirit got trapped in the doll. Oh my gosh. It was Ming Young and Jung Soo, dude, their souls got trapped in the dolls. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. No wonder they're always screaming and so upset, dude. I would be too. Wow. Well, that's the end of the story. I don't know, this one was a little bit, it was a little bit long and I, I guess like it did kind of drag out a little bit, but it definitely had that building tension. From the very beginning, we knew that something was wrong with the girl, that her spirit was allegedly not there anymore. So the buildup was kind of like, where is her spirit? You know, like what happened at the theme park? What's going on there? And we kind of found that out at the very end. I'm just kind of wondering like, how did it happen? How did, how did their soul leave their body and get trapped in the doll and and what like evil demons switched out into their body is that what happened i don't know i'm curious but i'll leave that to you guys let me know down in the comments what you think happened in the story how it ended and just overall what you thought about it if you guys enjoyed this story and stories like this be sure to click the original link down below to check out even more stories from the shriek series thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and until next time i will see you in the next scary story good night